All right, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to uh, walk everybody through how I did my uh, net out airflow on the Define R6 case because it's honestly pretty important for me to have net out airflow uh, because it's just, um, you know, it's, it's really the best way to eliminate dust. Have a filter on your fans going in and uh, net out. So what I ended up doing was, uh, so pretty much I have, you know, this two fans going, push, pulling out and two fans on the side, the Corsair is over there pulling out also. Um, those fans in the front and over here are four total uh, that, are, that push out. So I ended up getting, I have this 140 here and that 140 down there, which is the one that comes with the case, the fractal design case. And what I added was an additional fan right here. Let's get out of the way. Oh, God. Okay. So I kind of wish I didn't take this out right now because it took a while to get it in, but. I want to pull it out to show you because this won't fit a third fan. Um, so this is like a half, half ass fan that I attached right there like that, which is aimed in. Um, and the reason I added this piece of paper is to reduce as much as possible, if not eliminate, uh, any backflow from the heat that's coming out of here so that it doesn't come in here. Um, and these are aimed down, which is a great thing. Uh, these blades, which helps out a lot probably. Um, so yeah, this I added that right there to prevent the heat to just be cycled back in as much as possible. Um, and I added this other fan up here, moved my two hard drives slightly down, added the fan over here uh, pushing in so this is pushing in, this is pushing in. This bottom one is pushing up. To raise it, I 3D printed these legs right here because otherwise it wouldn't get enough clearance to have any airflow. It's honestly a little bit still kind of a problem. I mean, I think, I think there's enough room for airflow all around. Um, and then you have that pushing in and that pushing in. Uh, the ones that are pushing in are hooked up to 12 volts all the time. These ones are hooked up to... Uh, actually, the GPU ones are hooked up to 12 volts all the time. The ones in the front are hooked up to uh, the controller. So, anyway, the net is out finally. I've been working on it for a while. Um, I usually test it by putting... Pretty much, I'll grab one sheet of toilet paper and then split it in half and then use that as like here Let's crumple it up earlier so if i put this here you could see it's getting pushed out and not in uh finally got this done um I swapped out my my tubes for bigger tubes because um, I'm planning on getting a bigger pump eventually uh, maybe potentially modifying this block right here reprinting a new uh, a new front block to allow for more flow but that's not uh, as important um, so yeah while doing that I decided to try to get you know, the additional fans in, and I got them in, and I'm very happy about it. Uh, anyway, thought I'd share this, because it gets kind of difficult when you have two uh, 240 mil coolers, uh, liquid coolers, to have net out, unless you aim the coolers in, which is, you know, obviously a very bad idea. My other idea was to have this flipped, so have one pushing, one pushing out, one pulling in, um, which is not as bad to have each uh, 240 be... Uh, net zero, but the issue with that is that, you know, you don't have as good isolation between the two sides 
Um, I was thinking about 3D printing some stuff to go in between to prevent any kind of cross flow. Uh, but yeah, so this ended up working and I'm much happier with this. Uh, I think this is gonna be also better performance obviously because I have so much more airflow now uh, than before. Um, anyway, just thought I'd share this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, this thing is only like a thousand RPM, so it's not that great. Yeah. All right. All right. Don't share. Thanks, guys.